Hey everybody, it's me, John Johnson. Have you ever wanted to be funny on the internet? I sure know that I have. People don't like me very much online. I was banned from Fur Affinity at least five times on five separate accounts. I now have an IP ban, and after the police got involved, I have to wear this ankle bracelet. So, that's why I always wish that I had a guide on how to be funny online. Now, if you're anything like me, you love to game. I mean, I tell ya, I was playing Beehive Bedlam on Sky Games box set every day, all day, all night, when I when I had to sleep on the sofa after my wife told me to go down. And I tell you something else. Every time I get one of those warnings about how you will not last five minutes after playing this game, I, I click the ever-loving bejesus out, out of that one. Now after that, my computer doesn't work, and I'm forced to play free online games like Agar IO, which I'm told by all the authorities is the place to be if you want to be a hip gamer. Agar.io is a game where you play as a small blob and eat other blobs to level up and consume the world. It is a Marxist commentary on the consuming nature of capitalism and how corporations eat up scarce resources around them in the expense of the proletariat. It is also a commentary on my late mother, who died when she got a piece of chicken tendies stuck in her neck tube, also known as an esophagus. <laughs> you can also name your blob whatever you want! Which is a surefire way, if you get it right, to make friends on the website. So, here is my top 10 names to give your blob. I was paid to do this. Number one, my mother. <laughs> Number one, my mother, who much like when you eat and grow large in this game, died after consuming too many chicken tendies. I don't miss her much though, because she made me move out of the house and get a real job d doing this. I hate my existence. Number two, my penis. Or Pen15, if you want to avoid the censors. It can also make a cool reference to Season 1, Episode 19 music video by the comedy channel Smosh. Now, I wanted to put in specifically my penis after I see Alora from Spyro 2, but I can't, I can't, I can't fit that. I once paid a prostitute to dress up as Alora the Fawn and sit on my face for 12 hours straight while she laughed at my erectile dysfunction. Number 3, the US Military Industrial Complex. Wow, that. Number four, my, my waistline, after the wife left. I miss you, Kyle. Number five, my waistline, after she took the kid. No, number six, the marching tide of socialism. Look, observe, comrade, as we break the chains. We get bigger and bigger through cooperation. May the workers of the world unite. Oh, I got, I got it. Number seven, my hopes and dreams. Now, this one is funny because... As, as a young small lad, your hopes and dreams will grow and grow and grow until you feel like you're achieving them. Like for instance, you might date a girl, you might plan out your life with her, but then, bam, everything you worked for is destroyed. She leaves you, and you're alone in this cold, dark universe. Nothing is sacred anymore. Your heart has been ground to dust into a million small pieces. Number eight. I, mi I miss you. Number nine. Burger King foot lettuce.